the average marks of six students in a test is 64. All the students got different marks. One of the students obtained 70 and all other students scored 40 or above. The, the maximum possible difference between the second highest and the second lowest mark. Lovely, lovely question. So six different things. A, B, C, D, E, F. I'm going to assume that they're all already in ascending order. And they're strictly in ascending order. A, less than B, less than C, less than D, less than E, less than F. Because the marks are all different. Right? We want the maximum possible difference between E and B. Right? Every student scored 40 or more. The average is 64. Someone in the middle scored 70. Lovely. So someone scored 70. Now we want the maximum E minus B or B should be minimum possible. E should be maximum possible. Then only the difference will be maximum. Lovely. So if B should be minimum. A should be minimum because B is more than A. So already I know I'm going to put 40 here. And 41 here. Lovely. That's already in there. One of the guys scored 70. Someone here scored 70. So it be either C or D. I'm not going to think E scored 70. The average is 64. Or A plus B plus C. The total of all of this divided by 6 is 64. Or the total 64 into 6 which is 384. Lovely. In this total, we already have three marks, 40, 41 and 70. Now think about this. We want E to be as high as possible. And so that means everything should be as low as possible. I know one of the marks is 70, but that need not be C. In which case D will have to be more than 70. I can put D as 70 and C is 42. It's going to be my best case scenario. 40, 41, 42, as low as possible. 70 because that's given. Now let's worry about E and F. So if you add these four, 40, 41, 42, 70, 40, 41, 42, these three add up to 123 plus 70. So these four add up to 193. All six put together add up to 384. These four add up to 193 or E plus F, this remaining is going to be 384 minus 193, which is 191. E is less than F, mind you. Two numbers add up to 191. E will be as high as possible if F is just more than E. 191 divided by 2 is 95. Point. 190 divided by 2 is 95. So it is 95.5. Our best case scenario would be to have this as 95, have this as 96. This set of numbers satisfy all our criteria. 40, 41, 42, 70, 95, 96. Everybody has got 40 or more. Done. Average is 64. Done. This 170 sitting here. Done. We've tried to keep this as low as possible. That means this should be as low as possible. We want to take that as high as possible. That means all of these should be as low as possible. 40, 41, 42 get baked in straight away. 70 because we've been given a 70. These two should be the remaining adding up to 191. This is as low as possible. This is as high as possible. 95, 96. Now we want to find the maximum difference. It's the best case scenario for having maximum difference. That difference will be 95 minus 41, which is 54.